For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. There's plenty to do before the June 12th meeting between President Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong-un. I think it's going to be a process that we deserve to have. I mean, we really deserve it. They want it. We think it's important. And I think we would be making a big mistake if we didn't have it. I think we're going to have a relationship, and it'll start on June 12th. But the president is also down expectations. He said that this is one step only one meeting in a series of meetings and that nothing is likely to be signed right away. There is plenty to talk about. The North's nuclear weapons and U.S. sanctions at the top of the list. Speaking in Singapore, Defense Secretary James Mattis was asked about U.S. troops in South Korea. That issue is not on the table here in Singapore on the 12th, nor should it be. You're listening to USA Radio News. Medicare rules are confusing. They should be. There are over 130,000 pages of regulations. There's Part A through D, Medicare Advantage, and Medigap. According to the CMS, there are government programs available that can help you pay for your medical expenses. Choosing the right Medicare plan is a really big deal. The wrong choice can cost you a lot of money, and the right choice can put more money in your pocket. Call one of our licensed representatives today. At 65 Plus Medicare, our free service can show you a plan that will maximize your Medicare benefits, ensure you are taking advantage of all available government assistance programs, and save you money. Call now. 800-635-6303. 800-635-6303. 800-635-6303. That's 800-635-6303. Double benefits listed may be available on all plans. We're in a single benefit package. Enrollment in the prescribed plan type may be limited to certain times of the year unless you qualify for a special enrollment period. No obligation to enroll. Mike Parsons has a new job. He's now the governor of Missouri, moving up from lieutenant governor after the resignation of Eric Greitens became official. Public service is a privilege, and it is truly an honor to serve as Missouri's 57th governor. Parsons pledged to bring honor, integrity, and transparency to the governor's office. Greitens resigned amid investigations into sex and campaign finance allegations. Investigators in Springfield, Massachusetts are using radar and shovels as they search for evidence at the home of a kidnapping and rape suspect where three dead bodies have been found. District Attorney Anthony Galuni. If there's anything of relevance to our investigation, if there are any other victims, we're going to find it or them. A suspect was taken into custody this week when police found a sobbing woman inside Stuart Weldon's car. She said she had been kidnapped and abused for over a month. This is USA Radio News. Do you know someone with a drug or alcohol problem? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. Stop the drug and alcohol nightmare. Are drug and alcohol problems hitting you too close to home? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. 866-490-3991. 866-490-3991. That's 866-490-3991. The nation's unemployment rate is way down at an 18-year low, right now at 3.8%. John Clemens gives us a brief look at some of the numbers. The economy added 223,000 jobs in May as the unemployment rate fell to an 18-year low. Eleni Karajorge is with the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Total non-farm payroll employment increased by 223,000 in May, and the unemployment rate edged down to 3.8 percent, the lowest since April 2000. Another sector of the economy showing job growth is for high school graduates with an unemployment rate at 3.9 percent, which is a 17-year low. For USA Radio News, I'm John Clemens. Teenagers in America are turning a thumbs down on Facebook. Here's USA's Chris Barnes with more. Maybe they got tired of their parents and grandparents sending them friend requests, but a new Pew Research Center study finds just 51% of U.S. teenagers are using Facebook these days. And that's a 20 percentage point drop since the last survey three years ago. This survey does find 85% of 13 to 17-year-olds in this country regularly use YouTube, 72% use Instagram, 69% are on Snapchat. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King.
My computer is so slow, it's making me crazy. I used to have that problem. Did you quit using the computer or, or did you buy a new one? No, I called Geeks on site. They made an appointment to visit my home and showed up the same day. You mean they didn't ask you to bring your computer to a shop? That's what happened when I called a support company. Geeks on site can go to your home or business or even repair your computer online. They have 24-7 emergency service. If you are having problems with your PC or Mac, call Geeks on site. 1-800-591-1682. Our friendly certified computer repair experts are available 24-7. Call now for a free diagnosis, 1-800-591-1682. Data recovery, virus removal, and maintenance for all laptops, desktops, printers, and networks. That's Geeks on Site for friendly certified computer repair experts available 24-7 over the phone or in your home or business. Just call 1-800-591-1682. That's 1-800-591-1682. 1-800-591-1682. 1682. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1 855 424 9825. That's 1 855 424 9825 for your questions and comments. Or John at GardenAmerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. I guess that means it is time to uh, blast off this morning on this Saturday with Garden America. Your garden buddies are here. Happy weekend. I'm Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox. We are ready for the next couple of hours to uh, give you some uh, inf interesting information, some knowledge, uh, some fun, some entertainment, uh, anything else we can uh, think of as we kind of stir the garden pot this morning. 855-424-9825 if you want to give us a phone call. Also, john at gardenamerica.com. That works as well. Best of all for many people is uh, right there, Facebook Live, questions, comments, as we continue to monitor that. That's some interesting music. Where's that coming from? Tiger's not, uh, his mic's not on. Oh, Tiger's mic is not on. No. Well, that's not going to make the music go away. Yeah, I know. But, it, but now I feel very emotional. I feel <laughs> like what you just said led into this moment. I think we're better. I think the music's going to go away now. Yeah. Be nice. That network, yes. There we go. See, I told you, huh? That was the network. They weren't picking up our feed. feed. I so they before. just have to put that music on so there's no dead air. So those listening on the radio, that's what that was about. We are good. We are hooked up. Those on Facebook are still scratching your head, but we are ready to go. Luckily, we got that figured out in the first uh, couple of minutes or so here. So, guys, I know, Tiger, we talked before the show. You had a good week, and you had, a good, you had an event last night at the nursery. Yeah, we had a wonderful event last night at the nursery. It's called Nursery After Dark, and we had music, art, yoga, it was for families. Well, don't most nurseries have that? Yeah, of course, right? <laughs> did you do goat yoga? We did not do goat no. yoga. I would like to leave all of the I'd leaves like... on my plants at the nursery. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that would be... Goats would be worse than yeah, rabbits. They would, they? <laughs> they'd be worse than the hundred children that were okay, running so goat, through there. So goat yoga is what? Goat yoga is where they do yoga, and then they have these little baby goats climb all over you. You've never seen it? It sounds so fun, right? What, what am I missing? Yeah. Goat yoga? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to have chicken yoga though. We have our chickens we'll let them oh, that, run that'll be nice. At least that won't be messy. Yeah, right. But um no, it was a great event. I want to thank everybody that came out tonight because it was a a great community event that uh, a lot of people from the neighborhood came out for and you know, just had a opportunity to hang out with your neighbors, meet new people. But at the same time, you know, have some fun and do some stuff with the family. So that's that's cool. good, and that is unique and different. So that that's good. Yeah. And then John, boy, you took you took the week off. You rested. How was it? Well, I I don't even remember what I did last week. I have been cleaning up the yard since we decided to stay in our house for a and, few months longer. And this anyway. is the aftermath of all the deliveries and sending out and packaging and you know taking care of all the orders. I realize that so. It is kind of like after the, uh, after something like that, you do want to kind of wind down a little bit. Yeah, I, I like to just go out in the yard, relax, pull weeds. Pulling weeds is very relaxing. You like pulling weeds? I do. 
It gives you a sense of accomplishment. <laughs> I, I don't. I, ha- you like it too? Well, I like it when you go out there and you clean out a bed with pulling weeds, and it was like right. something you can do and finish, right? Yeah. When you look back and you see just an acre of weeds, and you're like, oh, I wanted to go. No, no, those. you've got to do a small area yeah. at a time. Yeah. Isn't it much easier to pull your own weeds than having to pull somebody else's weeds? Because you're doing it for yourself. Yeah, I would really never presume to pull someone else's yeah. weeds. Never really? Know. You're not. A, you're not. A, I thought you were an old. Just go to somebody else's house. I thought John <laughs> was an old weed puller from way back. I I really do prefer pulling weeds to say playing golf or something like that. You ever play golf in your life? Yes. Really? And you yeah. say that with a little bit of conviction. Now, do you mean did I ever play golf in my life and enjoy it? I'm not talking the, about the answer would be no. I'm not talking about mini golf. I'm not talking the about the last time I played golf I played was golf. probably maybe eight, nine years ago. I went with my wife. We played about seven or eight holes. She said, Okay, you're not playing anymore. <laughs> she just took you off the course? No, she said we don't have that many balls left. <laughs> My gosh. She said, you're, you're losing them right and left. She said, you just can't play. Is and she so, better than you? Is she a better golfer than you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. And so, so, so I just followed her around till we got to the 18th hole, went home, and never played again. Can you picture him, though, even, no, even, not even. teeing off with no. a golf club? Be I, awkward. Oh, exactly. It's just <laughs> completely awkward. Uh, yeah, that, I can't see it. I agree, I agree with you on that. All right, so there's our golf Let's, talk this morning. <laughs> yeah. Get back on track here. Uh, this is Garden America. We see a lot of people joining our Facebook Live. Thank you for that. Questions, comments uh, on right there on Facebook uh, from BizTalk Radio, 855-424-9825. And again, John at GardenAmerica.com. The quote of the week, I'm still reading it. Uh, it's like a book. You know, you put it down and you, you, <laughs> you, you pick it up back. and you want to finish it again. Well, uh, but it's a nice, it's a good quote. And it's by an author, too. So. Yes. Yes. It should uh, read like a book. And the quote is, the more you watch, the more mysterious the, natu- the natural world becomes, and the more you realize how little you know. Along with its beauty, you may also come to experience its fecundity, its wastefulness, aggressiveness, ruthlessness, parasitism, and its violence. These qualities are not well conveyed, conveyed in textbooks. Okay, the one word that stuck out? Fecundity. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. You knew it, right? Yeah. But I didn't write it. Michael Crichton did. Michael, the author of Absolutely. Jurassic Park yep. and, uh, and other books. And Michael Crichton was a, uh, a doctor, Ph.D., mm-hmm. and uh, all his books have a lot of science behind them. So even though they're all fictional, uh, there's, there's plausibility yes, to this. Yes, that's exactly. The and I think Jurassic Park is a good example of that. Right. You know, if, if you could somehow uh, obtain uh, fossilized DNA and then, you know, breed that with a living animal, a frog, or a reptile, you could create a dinosaur. Yeah. You know, I think that uh, I haven't read it. It was a long time ago when I read it. But I think the one book that pretty much describes the situation in the the climate, social and political climate that we're in Mm -hmm. today is called State of Fear. And it's a a fantastic book, I thought. Um, Some people might disagree with it, but if you want to see Michael Crichton's ideas of um, uh, how people are kept in a social... uh, some some type of social hierarchy mm-hmm. by the government. Yeah, I know. Read exactly. that book, State of Fear. Um, there was another book on that same topic years ago called The Power Elite. And you can get into a whole other level of, you know, sub-governments and yeah. people that really control the world and the five or six families around the world that have the money that control the stock market, the economy, all that kind of stuff. And then you can go and then uh, dip your foot into the pool of the Illuminati, too. It, it all kind of ties in together. Well, the... The gist of his book was that governments control people by keeping the population in a constant state of fear. Exactly. So there always has to be some crisis and that I, people are worried and concerned about, and right. only the government can save them. And, and I would imagine uh, keeping the public uh, somewhat ignorant as well. Uh, well. Only ignorant about what's really going on. Exactly. That's right. It is 14 minutes after the hour. By the way, just tuning in for the first time, this is a garden show. 
Uh, it is right. Garden America, Brian Maine, John Pagnasco, and Tiger Palafox. Thank you so much for tuning in. Facebook Live, again, John at GardenAmerica.com. Questions, comments, uh, Biz Talk Radio at 855-424-9825. Uh, springtime, you should have most everything planted by now. What if For somebody who's doing this seasonally, let's say in warmer climates like ours, what should be going on right now? And then on the other side of the coin, if you're uh, back east, Midwest, where the climate has been cold and now warming up, what should be happening in those areas, John? Most of the areas back east have warmed up overnight. They go from winter to summer sometimes and just skip spring. Hey, where did well, that, that tree come from? It wasn't there yesterday. Well, my sister sent me an email in Michigan that it was so hot that they could hardly stand it. It was in the 90s in wow. humid. Wow. And what, what in San Diego, we've been in, what, the high 60s, low 70s but for you, over a week. You brought up the humidity back there. That That's the worst. Yeah. You well, know, they were at their lake house, so if they got too hot, they could just take a dip in the lake. The lake. We don't go to lakes here in San Diego. We go to the beach. Do you ever go to a lake, Tiger? It's a big beach. I mean, it's, it's a, a big huge, lake. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> huge, it's huge a lake. big ocean. Yeah. ocean okay. <laughs> but uh, there, what do we have? Lake Hodges, a couple of lakes San locally. Lake. Yeah, but it's not, not something you hear a lot of people talk about. No, because, I mean, our lakes are small in comparison to the lakes okay. that, you know, I think those people. Oh, like Superior check. or Erie? Yeah, yeah exactly. Or Lake Huron? <laughs> <laughs> One of those great lakes. Hey, we got a break coming up, uh, but of course, our guest today, Tiger, is Steve Leylin with VPG Fertilome Natural Guard. We're going to be talking about invasive pest species that are plaguing our country. And we get a lot of phone calls on invasive pest species, so stick around for that. 16 minutes after the hour, we're going to take a break. I'm Brian Maine. He's John Begnesco. Tiger Palafox, our guest, is standing by. 855 424 9825. Phone questions or right there on Facebook Live questions, comments, and then again, John at GardenAmerica.com. Thank you for tuning in, spending part of your weekend with us here. It is the Garden America Show. Battling bugs inside and out? Then it's time to get more from Bayer Advanced and Lowe's Home Improvement Stores. Now you can buy Bayer Advanced Complete Brand Insect Killer for Soil and Turf and get a free bottle of Bayer Advanced Home Pest Plus Germ Killer, a $9 value. Complete works outside on your lawn, eliminating surface insects, including mosquitoes, in 24 hours and soil insects for up to three months, while Home Pest Plus Germ Killer handles the bugs inside your home. Lowe's and Bayer Advanced. Get more from the blue bottle. Always read and follow label instructions. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready-to-spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Do you have an old car sitting in your driveway? How would you like to learn a hassle-free way to get rid of it, help kids in need, and get a great tax donation in the process? It's real easy. One simple free call to our car donation hotline is all it takes. Call the Nishama Foundation at 800-721-6723, 800-721-6723. We'll come pick your car up for free and give you a tax donation for the full value of the car, running or not. The value of your unwanted car will go to help kids in need. It's fast and easy. Just call us and your car will be gone and on its way to helping children in 48 hours. And you get a nice tax deduction. Call the Nishama Foundation now to get rid of your car, help kids, and get a tax write-off. Call 800-721-6723. 800-721-6723. 800-721-6723. That's 800-721-6723. Do you owe $10,000 or more on at least two federal student loans? Then you may qualify for new programs offered by the Department of Education. These programs can reduce your interest, lower your payments, and possibly qualify you for loan forgiveness. If you have $10,000 or more and at least two federal student loans and currently not in school, you may qualify for one of these programs. Call now to check your eligibility. Student loan advisors are standing by to help you determine if you qualify for these new programs. They can help you reduce your interest, lower your payment, and even forgive a portion of your student loan debt. Take control of your financial future. Make this free five-minute free call now to Nationwide Student Loans and learn how you can reduce your student loan debt. 
Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is not... It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly, because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1. 1- 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825 or john at gardenamerica.com. Okay, the first segment is out of the way. We are here back 21 minutes after the hour. Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, your garden buddies here at Garden America. Every Saturday we kick things off six minutes after 8 o'clock on the West Coast. 1106 Eastern Time Zone, John at GardenAmerica.com, Facebook Live questions, comments, also 855-424-9825. That out of the way, it is time for our guest, Tiger, and uh, this is going to be good and very interesting because a topic that a lot of people deal with. Yeah, and no matter where you are in the country or in the world, and, you know, it's funny, we were just talking about that that book about creating fear in the populace. Right, right, exactly. We're going to do that right now. Because, in the gar- fear in the garden. Exactly, because no matter where you are in the world, there's, there's a problem usually, some either kind of invasive species of plant or invasive bug that's mm-hmm. plaguing the, the, the native plants in the region. And so this morning we have Steve Leyland with BPG and Fertilome, who are gonna be ta- who's going to be talking with us about one of the problems that they have on the East Coast, but then also talking about, you know, how across the – Across the world, this is a problem. And then also we're going to be talking about some of the um, environmental issues that we have with people's lawns right now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, Steve, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing really, really well. Um, We're just kind of getting started here on this Saturday morning. You're back east, though, right? What time is it, 11 o'clock for you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I have 11.23. Ah, Yeah, he's exactly right. I got my radio clock right here, so good job. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, <laughs> Steve, start off by telling our listeners a little bit about you and and uh, your background, please. Yeah, I, uh, uh, as Tiger said, I currently work for VPG. Um, my background is mostly in the in the turf industry. Um, ran a, a rather large at the time. We were the largest uh, lawn care lawn care business on the East Coast, and uh, I uh, found a new way to do turf care. And, and I had a friend of mine that told me that uh, it's easier to birth and it is to resurrect so <laughs> i elected to start my own business so uh, i did started my own business i had that for 10 years however in that 07 08 year uh when the building business took a took a dive um, i ended up having to leave my business because i we, we also had a landscape business as well and the majority of our employees worked in the landscape side so i ended up selling the, the turf business to keep the landscape side of, uh, afloat so the guys could keep their job and then I, I uh, started working in this field. So and I've been here now going on uh, nine years. And, you know, from your experiences over the years in that industry, the, you know, pesticides, fertilizers, fungicides, what have been some big changes that you've seen take place over the past few years? Well, uh, well, on two fronts, I do think that we're, uh, you know, on all sides in the nursery field plus the turf field, I, I do think that, we're really trying to develop more plant material that, that's much stronger and can withstand uh, the harshness of the weather patterns that we're getting. I mean, we really see them now more than ever. 
Um, I know we've seen some some big enhancements on just turf, specific types of turf that do better dealing with fungus and disease um, and, and warmer weather. Um, and then also I think that there's definitely a shift in us trying to uh, find and, and, and discover more natural products and get away from the old, you know, the chemistry. I can remember days in the 80s where I'm out spraying lawns and I'm coming home and I've got, I've got product all over me, not thinking about it. Uh, I always tell the story of one time I came home, I, I, uh, I had my boots, I put them down in the, in the kitchen floor. Uh, the next morning, uh, I went to go to work, and there was this nice bright yellow stain on the laminate. <laughs> oh, wow. And I and I thought, well, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, 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 it starts eating away or something. Yeah, that's not good. I, I, yeah, you have no idea. Like, well, that's getting all my pants and through me. Lord knows what it's doing. Well, I've had days where well, I would spray trees and shrubs, and um, at the, back then we would have our blood tested, and and there were days where I literally had to stop spraying trees and shrubs for a month. Um, because they found trace trace chemicals in my bloodstream. So I, I do think that our, our real goal as an industry is is to is to try and find more natural type products that that um, um, that are more environmentally friendly. Um, yeah. And so he, he means products that don't light up his floor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that and other things. So like let's get in. Let's get into um, one of the hot topics that you have been um, talking about with me right. about, and that's the spotter and lantern fly. Tell us a little bit about yeah. the problem and, and, you know, as a that's, whole, why it's a problem. Yeah. I know when I was asked to come on uh, on the radio program, I wanted to pick a topic that was really germane to my area, uh, knowing you guys are on the other side of the country. And, uh, you know, fortunately for me or unfortunately for me, um, found out that that the spotted lanternfly is is a real big issue in my immediate area. I actually live in one of the counties uh, that that is currently being quarantined. But... um, the spotted lantern fly, fly is, is a plant hopper, and the reason why it's called that is because the hind wings are covered in spots. It was it was officially discovered on September 22nd, 2014, in Berks County at a landscape supply facility. I've talked to other folks. Uh, this this past it was actually found in uh, two years earlier, in in, uh, in, uh, in 2012, but. The problem is that these insects suck sap from the plants, weakening it and making it susceptible to fungus, other insects, and the weather conditions. The adults and the nymphs feed on the phloem tissue of young stems with their piercing and sucking mouth parts and excrete large quantities of liquid or honeydew. And this feeding creates weeping wounds. These wounds will leave a grayish or black trail along the trunk. The honeydew facilitates the growth of sooty mold, and the weeping sap attracts other insects, such as wasps, hornets, ants, and bees. The um, kind of an interesting note, the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture um, and uh, the USDA and Penn State, they believe and they have warned us that there is a potential $18 billion windfall uh, and an impact on the Commonwealth's business trade and, and economy because of the spotted lanternfly. Now, when and, you say discovered, does that mean we didn't know that it existed before, say, 2012 or 2014? Yeah, yeah, we, we'd never seen it before. Um, um, it, again, it just all of a sudden, it, it just showed up and appeared. I, and again, we live in an environment where there's so much transportation and, 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 and uh, products being uh, brought from one country to another. Um, Lord only knows what's being transported. In this case, um, I believe it was the egg masses were attached to a, a pallet of a product that was purchased. You know, in this case, uh, with a uh, landscape supply facility, and 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 when the timing was right, those egg, eggs hatched, and here we are today dealing with an issue that's a big concern. And and now let's talk about this issue now on a global scale because what problem you guys are having there is also common to you know in California we have a psyllid here which is attacking citrus, and you know I'm sure there's mm-hmm. there's all kinds of other things all across the the country. Um, and the issue with the lanternfly, right, is that it's very difficult to kill. And that's the reason why these become such big problems. Is that right, Steve? Um, yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, we're we're still studying um, what actually... Um, 
Hey, Steve, yeah. we got to take a break. Hold on to that thought here. The music means it's break time. Got to pay okay. a few bills. And uh, we'll come right back and continue this conversa- uh, conversation. Uh, again, uh, questions, comments right there on Facebook Live or john at gardenamerica.com. Want a better looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. Have you heard about BizTV? BizTV is the home for America's entrepreneurs, small businesses, and those who want to succeed in life. It's the only national television network committed to airing original, high-quality, educational, and inspirational programming about real business people. BizTV can provide the right kind of ideas, motivation, and education to help fuel the next generation of business owners. Visit BizTV.com and call your satellite or cable service provider to request BizTV. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back, neck, knee, and wrist pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you, but the deadline is fast approaching. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. You heard right. You may qualify for a pain relieving back neck knee or wrist brace these items may even be covered by medicare or your private insurance the health alert hotline is your brace company these specialized braces have been tested for pain relief call us toll free right now to determine your eligibility and to learn how to use your private insurance or medicare to minimize your out-of-pocket cost don't wait if the deadline passes you may lose your opportunity to get a pain relieving back neck knee or wrist brace at little or no cost to you 800-306 That's 800-306-1760. National Funding Group has just released $100 million in easy access small business funding to businesses that gross at least $100,000 a year. You can have fast access up to $500,000 in new business capital in as little as 48 hours. Think about the ways you could grow your business if you had up to a half a million dollar cash infusion. Call a NFG funding expert now. The process is easy. It only takes about five minutes. Then our management-owned lending team looks at your application for a fast approval. You can get 100% funded in about two days. If you need up to $500,000 in working capital to run business and you gross at least $100,000 a year, call NFG and apply today. 800-296-1564. 800-296-1564. That's 800-296-1564. Got an old car? You can donate it, whether it's running or not, to the United Breast Cancer Foundation and save a life. They'll even come and pick it up for free. The United Breast Cancer Foundation has saved hundreds of women's lives through their free or low-cost breast screen exams. But now they need your help. The United Breast Cancer Foundation wants to save more lives through early detection by offering women free or low-cost breast screening exams. And donating your old car, SUV, or truck, whether it's running or not, helps pay for them. Plus, you get a charitable tax deduction. Help the United Breast Cancer Foundation save lives by donating your old car, SUV, or truck. Call now for free pickup. 
Call right now. That number again is 800-245-0473. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Ah, yes, the spotted lanternfly. That is the, the topic of discussion. Other pests, other things that uh, you might find in your garden. But this is, uh, this is rather new, Tiger, as we continue back here on Garden America. Brian Main, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco, John at GardenAmerica.com. Uh, Facebook Live, questions, comments as uh, we continue our, our show. And uh, we were in the middle of another uh, conversation before we had to go to the break, Tiger. Yeah, before the break, we were chatting with and still are going to be chatting with Steve Leland with Fertilome. And we were just getting into one of the, one of the reasons why these invasive pests are such problems because – they're not native to the area, and they're challenging to control or to kill. Um, you know, the psyllid that we have here in California can only be killed at a certain time of year. Which we had to learn. Which, you know, yeah, exactly. And, mm-hmm. you know, one of the issues is with the spot on lanternfly is the challenge of, again, you have to kill it at a certain time. And then it's not, it's not responding to all the classic pesticides that are out there. And they're even looking at or organic and natural pesticides isn't that right steve yeah that that is correct well you know you've got there's basically five stages of of uh, this pest and and a couple of things that are interesting we find that birds don't eat them um <laughs> oh boy. also found that there are some what, i'm sorry i said oh boy because that's that would help if birds were, were helping out to to eradicate it <laughs> yeah no, you're right. Um, now, there are some natural predators, spiders, praying mantis, uh, some parasitic wasps. But what we're finding, they're just not plentiful enough to be able to make an, a noticeable uh, reduction in the population. Uh, when it comes to the, the eggs, um, the egg masses, which we you can find them, uh, in essence, from September to May, there are no known pesticides that will kill the egg masses. Um, the only thing that we know to do is they have to be physically scraped off it's uh, recommended you take like a credit card um, and you scrape them in a downward motion and try and drop them into a plastic bag with a little alcohol or hand sanitizer in the bag. So you can't just, it's not like you can just throw material in a, in a sprayer and just spray, spray the tree. You have to, you have to literally uh, um, just scrape them off. Wow. Um, now, when you, now, when you get into the, uh, the, uh, the one, there's, there's four instars, instars, um, and you can use a systemic insecticide. It's probably what we're finding is, is working the best. Um, they, they do tend to gravitate towards the Alianthus tree, uh, which, or it's called the tree of heaven. Um, and they will be on that tree roughly from May to August. And we're finding that anything that's got imidacloprid or done it to furon, uh, you know, it's an insect drench. So, or, uh, so you're just, you're dropping that around the tree the tree uh, uh, takes in the material, and as these uh, uh, pests are, are eating, they, are, they obviously end up dying. So um, that's probably, in my opinion, working the best. The other option is to control the Alianthus tree uh, uh, by first trying to get rid of them. The, the recommendation is to destroy, if you have them on your property, just try and destroy 85 to 90 percent of them wow. uh, by using various various means, and then that'll leave you know 10 to 15 percent of this, these trees on your property. The hope is that these uh, that the spotted lanternfly will gravitate you know just to those trees, and then they we're placing sticky bands around them, um, and uh, and obviously in the hopes that as they crawl up the tree, they get stuck to the sticky bands. But um, I just I just saw in fact a little YouTube video where uh, a couple of years ago they were they were trying various sticky bands and in some cases the adults were able to walk right through them they were strong wow. enough to be able to withstand that material so that's the problem yeah um, so well, so new species so like then, this then, and it's trial and error right you've got to learn their breeding habits you've got to learn all about them before you can come up with a, a, a plan of attack to to eradicate them right so it's all it's all guessing by gosh for a while correct. 
That is absolutely correct. Yeah. And again, we're we're still in that trial phase where we're really trying to find out what works and what doesn't. I mean, we have some idea just from just from um, past experience because we've had a few years with this with this guy under our belt here. But um, but uh, you're right. We're still we're still trying to find the best way to to control these things. Kind of an interesting um, fact. In 2016, the affected area uh, was about 174 square miles, and then in 2017, the affected area was 3,000 square miles. So it has gotten uh, in a much broader area from 2016 to 2017. If I said that correctly. Hey. Um, so who knows? And right right now, we're we're in that phase where they're in the first instar, um, the first instar. Um, uh, the eggs hatch, and then you've got your first instar, and that that occurs in May and June, um, and uh, so we're just now uh, seeing s sort of the proliferation of these guys. Uh, I just had a friend of mine post on his web Facebook page, "Hey, look what I have in my yard." And, um, <laughs> so, hey Steve, real quick, because I know we're gonna, I know I want to touch on one other topic, um, so I want to just mention yeah. to everyone. If they go to the USDA website, they can see about 20 to 25 species of, of pests that are out there across our country that are plaguing different areas. I mean, not not all are California, not all are Pennsylvania and, and whatnot, but, you know, there's the coconut rhinoceros beetle, there's the European grapevine moth, there's the false codling moth. There's, And these are all invasive species that are plaguing these regions for some reason, whether it's agriculture or maybe it's their tree yeah. canopy. So, you know, it's good for if you're a gardener, if you're a home gardener and you're actively out there in your backyard or front yard and you, you see bugs and you aren't quite familiar with the, what they are. Take a picture. Take a picture. Yeah, you exactly. can go to the website. Yeah, they see absolutely. you can see all the stages because it is much different yeah. than adult and you can become aware. And that way, if you have that problem, you can contact the USDA. They'll give you in the proper authorities to get in reach with about you know what they need to do, whether it is eradicate it or whether it's to treat it or whether it's to cut down the tree or plant or something like that. But that protects the whole environment down the road because you know just letting this happen can ultimately affect whole economical economic impact in the region. And instead of what you're saying is instead of just, you know, sitting back and waiting for the problem to be addressed, be, be part of the solution. Yeah, exactly. Correct. And, and now Steve, I you want to touch. That? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say that was my hope in, in today's conversation was to at least bring awareness. Cause I find even my own specific area, I'll, I'm going to throw a number out. I'm guessing I would say at least 50 to 65% of the people have no idea that this is a problem, even in their own area, in their own county that's quarantined. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to kind of go off what you just said, there was an instance where a woman bought a Christmas tree in Pennsylvania, took it to New Jersey, and she had the Christmas tree up for like an extra month after, <laughs> after uh, December 25th. And these things hatched in her house. Oh, wow. um, and they were everywhere. And so she ended up, uh, she did call the New Jersey Department of Agriculture. They came in and took care of the issue. So kind of, she did exactly what you just said should happen. Yeah. Um, the other topic you want to hit on, uh, we just have a little bit of time, is lawns. And, okay. you know, you were mentioning yeah. that somewhere you, you just saw got almost 10 inches of rain. I had mentioned another area was getting some hail and then we're dry over here. And, you know, this, this weather is just you know, riddling lawns with problems, whether it's fungal issues or yeah. pest issues and things. So go ahead and um, touch on that a little bit. Okay. Um, you're right. Currently right now, the big issue that we're having to deal with is, is uh, uh, what I've been seeing. I do take care of a couple sports fields for the local, just the local uh, sports uh, community. And I'm seeing an abundance of red thread, um, I've never, we typically don't see it up in my way as bad as it currently is. Fungus issues are going to be huge this year. And I think it, we, it seemed like we didn't even have a spring. Um, I mean, to me, spring, when I think spring, I think of temperatures between 60 and 70 degrees. And I think we went from 50 to 80. Um, I, and there was nothing in between. Mm. Um, but, um, but, but the point that I wanted to make to communicate to folks is there's a couple practices that we can do to try and minimize the, the fungal damage. Um, I, um, 
and and the one the one basic practice is as we get deeper into the summer here, keep your grass cut high. Uh, there was a there was a sod grower who I was selling grass seed to, and he had taught me. He told me that he just by cutting his grass about a half inch higher, um, he was able to reduce his fungicide applications by three quarters, um, which you know in his case was thousands of dollars. Um, the assumption is is that when you cut it higher, there's a there's a there's a it spreads the distance between the tips of the plants so that the mycelium can't can't readily hop from one plant to the next. Um, so when you cut it higher, that separation gets a little bit greater, and it'll 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 keep the the fungus in a specific area. So that's something that we can certainly do right away. Um, the other is uh, you may end up having to spray a fungicide. I know in New Jersey. Fungus issues are a big problem, typically because I think there's, it's a very high humidity uh, uh, area. It's sandwiched between the Delaware and the ocean. Hey, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take a, we're gonna I'm, take I'm, a break. We gotta come right back. We'll wrap this up, okay. but we do want to hear the rest of your thought because this is um, obviously something very important. So stay with us. Gonna wrap things up. We have one more segment coming up on this Saturday morning, and of course, you're tuned in to the Garden America Radio Show. Battling bugs inside and out? Then it's time to get more from Bayer Advanced and Lowe's Home Improvement Stores. Now you can buy Bayer Advanced Complete Brand Insect Killer for soil and turf and get a free bottle of Bayer Advanced Home Pest Plus Germ Killer, a $9 value. Complete works outside on your lawn, eliminating surface insects, including mosquitoes, in 24 hours and soil insects for up to three months, while Home Pest Plus Germ Killer handles the bugs inside your home. Lowe's and Bayer Advanced. Get more from the Blue Bottle. Always read and follow label instructions. This is Joe Lample from Growing a Greener World. With the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite Organic Nitrogen Fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to three months. The organic nitrogen is slow release and won't burn plants even during hot, dry weather. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for 90 years. Melorganite, for better results naturally. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about what's in your water? Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every faucet. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, call 1-888-989-WAVE, 1-888-989-WAVE, or go to greathealthywater.com. That's greathealthywater.com. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. I live alone and rarely have visitors. So when I slipped and fell in the kitchen last month and couldn't get to a phone, I knew I was in trouble. I could barely move. Help! I tried calling for help, but no one could hear me. As I lay there, I couldn't help but think of my kids and having to go on without me. I was terrified. It took eight hours for my neighbor to find me. It could have been the end of me. That's when I knew I needed Life Alert. With just one press of this button, I'm connected to the Life Alert Center, where I can get the help I need, even when I cannot reach a phone. With Life Alert, I'm never alone. Call 1-800-414-1958 for your free Life Alert brochure. That's 1-800-414-1958. 1-800-414-1958. Call for your free Life Alert brochure today at 1-800-414-1958. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer, and again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? Low-cost airlines. With one call to low-cost airlines, you'll drastically slash your travel costs. We're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations. Where would you like to go? London, Rome, Costa Rica, Australia? Wow, that's cheap. So why wait? Call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the U.S. or international. Our prices are so low, we can't publish them. The only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airlines. 
airline travel. It's that easy. So call now and start packing. 800-217-5107. That's 800-217-5107. Due to an upturn in the economy, Main Street Business Loans has pre-approved the release of millions of dollars in small business funding. Your business may already be pre-approved to receive up to $250,000. We've sent out millions of pre-approval letters. We see the economy growing, and our underwriters believe now is the time to invest in your business so you can grow faster and make more money. And we're prepared to give you up to $250,000 to do it. Your funds can be available in five days. There are no application fees, no annual fees, just quick access to up to $250,000. If your business did not receive your approval letter to get up to $250,000, call Main Street Business Loans Approval Desk now. 800-430-7570. 800 430 7570. 800 430 7570. That's 800 430 7570. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Only if you could hear what our discussions are like during the break here. We are back, uh, obviously, speaking to the, uh, the Facebook viewers here, back here on Garden America on Saturday morning. It is 855-424-9825. Questions, comments. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com. Facebook Live, of course, as we uh, wrap things up. And, uh, boy, this has been very educational, obviously. Yeah, a lot of stuff going yeah. on. And, you know, we were just talking with Steve from Fertilome about fungal issues that are playing in the lawns right now because of the high humidity and the temperatures that are out there. And, Steve, just so you know, on our Facebook feed, I loaded up a link for people to be able to go to the product um, that you guys have called F-Stop. Um, would that be a good product for the red thread that you had mentioned, or is there something else that you think that people might want to use if they're having that problem? No, I, I think that that's uh, that was that's fine. I think that's great. Anything um, that's uh, that has your fungicide in it, um, that uh, which that does, is uh, is a perfect uh, product to apply. And again, I you know. Right now, what I'm seeing is red thread. I haven't seen others. I mean, there's a lot of others, Dollar Spot, um, uh, and so forth. But um, but red thread right now is the predominant one that I'm seeing. But uh, it would certainly work. Normally, with red thread, a good nitrogen fertilizer will typically grow out that problem. Uh, but I'm I'm on the suspicion you're going to have to do a little bit more this year, primarily because of the weather and the patterns that we're in. Yeah. So, but yes, thank you for promoting our product. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and and so you know, one of the issues with lawns that people have is you know they let lawns go for years and years, and they do take good care of them. But you know, after a lawn is five years old, there's things that people have to do. And I know you're a turf guy, so what are some things that people need yeah. to do? Not necessarily on an annual basis, but you know, maybe every five years, every ten years, almost like almost like a tune up in your car. Right, right. Where you know these are things that people right. don't consider, but they are important. What do you, what is out there? Sure. Well, I can tell you that the the first angle that I try and get people to 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 focus on is getting their pH right for their for their for their turf. If if the pH is off, everything is off. Your your fertilizer won't work as well. Your weed controls won't work as well. So so. A turf likes to have a pH. Now, this is a subjective comment on my part because I've seen it wider, between 6.5 and 6.8. Some people say 6.2 to 7. Um, I like to try and get it between 6.5 to 6.8. If you can get your pH in that range, and there's little test kits that you can get uh, that will measure that. To me, that's that's a great way to start any time of the year. Uh, it's a good first application. It's a it's a it's a great summer application because it won't burn the lawn. You know, back in the day when I started spraying lawns, we were putting fertilizer down in the summertime, NPK, and it was like the last thing you should be doing. But we, we did it back then, and 
Um, and, uh, and ideally, again, get that pH right first before you start anything else. Also, like this summer, I'm real big on humates. We have a, we have a, a, a humic granular uh, product. You could post that on there too if you want. Um, yeah. It's a great product <laughs> because the humates are feeding food for the microbes. Sorry, I had to put that in there. No, that's okay. They're, they're feeding foods for, for, for the, the humic, humates are feeding food for the microbes. And what are we trying to do? I, I find like when these builders, I really saw this in landscaping. These builders, when they build these homes, particularly if you're having a new development, they push off the soil. They, and they build the house, and then they put the soil back or they sell it. The problem is they've now flipped what we call the O layer. The organic layer that was once on top is now on the bottom. So we're trying to grow grass, and in our root structure for grass, don't go but so deep. Um, so we're trying to grow grass in an environment that has, that has absolutely no organic substance to it whatsoever. And if you're putting the humate products down, uh, that'll significantly enhance the microbes, the worms, and all the good stuff that we're trying to to uh, to um, um, enhance in the soil to help the plant. Because I, I find people don't realize, you know, grass plants. It's a plant. I mean, it's not. We see so many plants put together that you don't realize there's one single plant in there, just you know, crying yeah. out saying, "Look at me," <laughs> you know. So, yeah. I, I, you know, we, we don't realize that. We take it for granted, in my opinion. But um, yeah. The only other thing I would say is um, I do think it's important to try and put down a pre-emergent, whether you do it organically or not. Um, uh, like right now, we're later in the season. You have to use a pre- and post-emergent as a product to mention. Um, if you look on the active ingredient, it's dithiapyr. That's what you have to use now because that stuff will control crabgrass once it gets up into the third tiller stage. Once we go to the fourth tiller stage and it goes fully bloom, I, I call that the wild teenager teenage years. It's wild and crazy, and you ain't controlling it. So um, <laughs> the, well, the goal is to get it down before we get to that third tiller stage, and we're getting very, very close depending upon where you are. Like down south, we may be past that. I'm in Pennsylvania, so down south, we may be beyond that. Up north, we're not. I find I'm about in the second tiller stage, so to speak, right now. So it's still plausible to go ahead and put that down if you want to control the crab crabgrass on your property. Um, but, but, yeah. but, well, um, well, and, Steve, then, let and me... then spot treating weeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, you know, lots of good information out there for people to be able to get. Um, I did load up quite a few of the links that you know, yep. you had mentioned um, on different bugs, on okay. different products to use and stuff like that. So if, if people didn't get a chance to write those down, they can always go to our Facebook video and they'll see all of those and links. And they can, they can watch the video after the show today, exactly. too. Exactly. They can recall it and yeah. get yep, some of yeah. the great information that's out there. And I, and I want to say thank you for Thanks. joining us this weekend, Steve. I, I know that we interrupted your Saturday. Yeah. It's probably noon now, so it's time for lunch. Getting there. And, uh, you know, I hope that you have a good rest of the weekend. <laughs> Yep, it's time for me to go work in my yard. That's what I'm doing. There you go. Awesome. Keep that grass in shape, buddy. All right. Thanks for joining us. Have a yes, good sir. weekend. All right. There you go. Hey, yeah. thanks again. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate the time. You bet. Yeah. And, and you know what? You when you know, Steve's a great guy because, you know, you, again, he works for a company that produces a lot of different products, but they, they kind of tend to go more towards the, hey, take this first step. If that doesn't work, right. here's step two and three. Let's end with step four because, you know, this is where we want to start. And well, they you want always to start want to with... troubleshoot simple and then work your way to the more difficult. Yeah, yeah. And so it's nice to be able to in, – in, in their company, they have, like, three different brands, and each of them cover different areas, meaning their natural guard is their organic pesticides, fungicides, you know, lime kind of a thing. And then high yield and fertile home, they have more of the synthetic chemicals and things. But – you know, they want you to start off with the lowest possible sure. denominator first. So that's always good. I thought, I thought it was a little ironic when he was talking about the invasive species, the spotted lanternfly attacking the Ilanthus, <laughs> which is another, <laughs> another invasive, invasive species. species. Right. So okay. we have an invasive plant being infested by an invasive insect. Like you betcha. Hey, we've got to take a break. News coming up on many of these Biz Talk radio stations. The replay today is on AM 740, K-Bright Radio, Los Angeles. We're going to take a break, coming back at six minutes after. Stay with us.
The opinions you hear on Biz Talk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, Biz Talk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on Biz Talk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or service. If you have any questions about Biz Talk Radio, contact us at 817-274-1609 or at biztalkradio.com. Biz Talk Radio. USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. China is deploying missiles in the disputed South China Sea to intimidate and coerce its neighbors. That according to U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis, speaking to an Asian security summit in Singapore this morning. Last week, we disinvited the People's Liberation Army Navy from the 2018 Rim of the Pacific exercise, as China's behavior is inconsistent with the principles and the purposes of the rim pact exercise. Mattis hinted that China could face harsher actions in the future if it does not work with neighbors. President Trump will fly to Singapore this month, after all, for that landmark summit meeting with North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. But he now anticipates a more drawn-out negotiation than once envisioned and indicated that he'll stop increasing pressure on the regime while talks proceed. You're listening to USA Radio News. Balance of Nature's Fruits and Veggies in a Capsule. Thousands of doctors, health specialists, and professionals recommend Balance of Nature as a way of improving their health. Listen to a few unsolicited success stories from doctors that not only recommend it, but use Balance of Nature as well. I look at Balance of Nature and I look what it's doing for me as I started taking it and for the patients that I have that are taking it. It's been phenomenal watching the changes that have happened and how much healthier and how much more energy that they have. I haven't heard any negative feedback from any of my patients who've been taking the product. The thing that amazes me with it is is that it's so simple. When you call, use discount code USA and we'll take 35% off your first month's order and ship it to you free. Call 800-246-8751. That's 1-800-246-8751 or go online to balanceofnature.com and use discount code USA. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department is investigating a double homicide at the Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. Police Lieutenant Ray Spencer says the two were part of a tour group scheduled to leave Las Vegas today. Their bodies were discovered after they did not show up for a Grand Canyon tour with their group. It's an isolated incident in one room. There's no threat to anybody in the hotel. Uh, operations that are going on as normal at the property. And I would tell you most guests are probably completely unaware of the incident. When security entered the hotel room, they found a man and a woman dead inside the hotel room with multiple stab wounds. A fatal shooting involving an Uber vehicle in Colorado yesterday. Denver police spokesman Sonny Jackson. The Uber driver and his passenger got into a conflict inside his vehicle. Shots were fired. The driver is now facing a first-degree murder charge, but he claims the passenger attacked him. It appeared as though at least 10 shots had been fired. Hancock had been an Uber driver for three years, but will no longer have access to the Uber app. This is USA Radio News. The following update is for drivers who pay too much for car insurance due to DUIs, DWIs, tickets, or anything else. Our company specializes in low-cost SR22 auto insurance. We know that mistakes happen and offer free quotes for very affordable auto insurance meant specifically for you, the overpaying high-risk driver. The quote is free, and we'll handle the filing so you can start saving money. Call 800-758-0725. 800-758-0725. 800 758 American farmers are responding to the retaliatory tariffs imposed by Europe, Mexico, and Canada in response to the Trump administration's steel and aluminum tariffs. Jeff Colombini grows apples, cherries, olives, and walnuts at his farm near Stockton, California. He tells ABC News he exports 40% of his crops and is worried about the impact of Trump's tariffs on his farm and employees. We know, you know, Trump's a negotiator from his prior Uh, business experience so uh, I'm optimistic that he knows what he's doing but but then again you know I I'm hoping that I'm not going to turn into collateral damage and in an exclusive interview with Meet the Press moderator Chuck Todd Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau yesterday slammed the White House claim that it was imposing new tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum to protect American national security interests Trudeau calls that insulting 
Honda said Friday another person has died in Malaysia after a flawed Takata airbag inflator exploded, raising the number of deaths linked to the defect in the Southeast Asian country to seven. Malaysian Transport Minister Anthony Loki says owners of more than 71,000 affected Honda cars will be penalized if they fail to replace the flawed airbags. We will ask uh, Honda to give us some cooperation in the sense that once this owner changed their airbag, be given a letter. So they have to bring that letter to road transport department counter to prove that they have changed the airbags. He says the cars are like a time bomb that can kill any time, which is why the government has to take such a drastic measure. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. If you're suffering from hearing loss, stay tuned for a special offer from the makers of Listen Clear, a revolutionary hearing aid breakthrough designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. Right now, you can try Listen Clear hearing aids absolutely free for 45 days. You can also qualify for free shipping and free batteries for life. Listen Clear hearing aids are so lightweight and comfortable, you can wear them all day long. They're practically invisible, too, so others won't even notice you're wearing them. And the best part is, you'll be able to hear almost everything, everywhere. So do something about your hearing loss. Call Listen Clear now to get started with your 45-day risk-free hearing aid trial. This special offer won't be available for long, so call Listen Clear now. 800-716-4650. 800-716-4650. We're here 24 hours a day to help. That's 800-716-4650. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or John at GardenAmerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. We are right back here to our friends on the East Coast. We say uh, good afternoon, six minutes after the hour. Garden America, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco, Brian Maine, 855 424 9825. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com. Uh, but this hour, it is totally open for your questions, comments right there on our Facebook page. So whatever's on your mind, let us know. Uh, a couple of pictures have been sent to us. Uh, I'm going to try to post uh, John's picture. We posted the uh, the picture that was sent to us by, was that Susan, the uh, France picture, John? From two years ago, one of our trips? Right, right. Okay. So that's up on our Facebook page. So a lot going on. But again, we want to know what's happening with you. Uh, questions, comments, uh, John at GardenAmerica.com or Facebook Live. And hopefully you got a lot out of the first hour with uh the conversation that we had about invasive pest insects, I mean, this is going on all the time. And, and the, the bug that he talked about is something, well, as of 2012, 2014, something brand new. So they're still trying to figure out the best way to control or eradicate it. So hopefully that. And again, you go back and watch the video if you missed any part of that. You That's know nice I, about I, having I, Facebook live. That we keep the videos <laughs> on our page. Yeah. And, and you know what I'm doing right now? I, is it legal we, in most states? Yeah. Okay. Um, in four weeks, we get to go to England. Ah, so here I'm we go. reviewing our itinerary right now, and I'm looking through <laughs> for the everything. first time in the yeah, last year. <laughs> I, I, did you know we're going to England in four weeks, John? I did. Holy cow! Did. Yeah, Tiger's catching up on the itinerary. Yeah, I That's don't even great. know. I don't even know where we're going. Tiger's but so it's easy. Amazing. It's just like you want to go to England. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Sure, <laughs> sure. Now he's starting to. A year no, later, just, deciding to look so, at So, John, you, you were serious when you asked me to go to England. We really are going to go to England. We're going to Long Barn Gardens. Never heard Come of Come on that. now. Never heard of Long Barn. Me neither, but we're going there. The Chartwell Estate. All right, now the this Parsley is... Parsley Manor. In the, is that Batman's house? Oh, no, Bateman. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I was excited. Batman's, was house. Batman's house. That hey, would have Al- been really cool, Al- right? Alfred's going to greet you at the door. <laughs> well, one thing we are doing on this trip that we didn't do... Uh, uh, on the last trip to England was we're going to be hitting a lot of private gardens. And uh, our tour guide has... We have uh, two English writers uh, leading our tour, <laughs> and they're going to be taking us to some private gardens, you know. Yeah, so, do these people that own these private gardens know that Garden America is going to be there? <laughs> we'll see. Or is this climbing the fence at, at midnight? Well, it depends. <laughs> no, I'm sure they know. So it should be a lot of fun. And we'll see... 
a lot of public gardens too. Yeah. I I'm looking forward to seeing England this time of year because I've only seen it early spring and I'm hoping a lot more will be uh, in bloom this time of year. And I'm really looking forward to the Hampton Court Flower Show. And this is probably as warm as the weather is going to be in England this time of the year. Smack dab in the middle of summer almost. You would think so. You know, 72 degrees. They're like, that's hot to heat wave. We'll be there for the 4th of July. I don't know how they celebrate it over there. Uh, they- <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring a really American outfit for the 4th of July. <laughs> they have 4th of July in England. They have... Fifth of July, sixth yeah, of July, they celebrate That's right. and they have a Fourth of July. I don't think they're going to like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Hey, questions, comments here on Facebook, and we do want to remind people that uh, our podcast are up and running. John supplies a link in the newsletter. You can click that link and go to the podcast. You can also download the radio app, whether it's Android, whether it's uh, on your Apple phone. Uh, but again, John does make it easy if you subscribe to the newsletter to click that link and go to the podcast. Last week, uh, and what's up there right now was seeds. Uh, the week before that was uh, spring vegetables, and this week after the show, what is our topic uh, today, Tiger? House plants. House plants. That is our thirty-minute podcast happening after the show, which we'll record, and I will post that on Monday. So be sure to tune into those podcasts because we pick one subject, we talk about it, that subject only, delve into it with a lot of detail uh, for about twenty-two, twenty-three, maybe thirty minutes altogether. On I like those... twenty minutes. You like twenty minutes? Yeah. Or when we're out of things to talk about. When we're, when we're done, we're done. It's never for John. You know, we could keep going. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, make sure you do listen to those podcasts. You'll gain a lot of information. And if you do and have questions, you can also email john at gardenamerica.com or post it on our Facebook page, and we'll try to address that as well. You know, speaking of house plants, you— John wrote a book on house plants. I did write a book on house plants called Plants for the Home, Volume 1. Volume two, we're still waiting for. <laughs> That's a whole other story. On it's going to be two. it's going to be like a Top Gun. You wait thirty some odd years to do the sequel. Yeah, I don't think there will be a <laughs> yeah. sequel to that one. Anyway, the you were making fun of me because uh, during the show I was looking at this plant catalog from Logie's Greenhouse, mm-hmm. and uh, they're since eighteen ninety two they've been in business selling a lot of house plants and their summer catalog is fruiting rare and tropical plants and i was looking at some of the things that they have available and it really is amazing in most of the country these plants are our house plants but in san diego a lot of them are, are perfectly good landscape plants right i keep threatening to, to buy hibiscus and i haven't and I think I want to. You know what? There's a lot of hibiscus in here. I bet there is. Yeah. You really need some hibiscus. I do. I want a lot of color, more <laughs> color in my patio. It's too green. Green is good, but it's just too green. What happened to your uh, your carnations? They're blooming. Well, two died. The rest are doing well. Two died? Yes. What happened? I don't know. You know how you've always told me that plants are like people. Everyone's different. Every plant is different. You can plant... The same thing in, a, in the same pot or different pots, and one's going to do well. Others aren't. Two died. The rest are thriving. Well, the only reason they would die would be if they were improperly cared for. Well, here's what happened. And since plants are like people, I don't know if I'd ever want to stay at your place. I can tell you exactly what happened. What happened? They didn't get enough sunlight early enough. Really? Mm-hmm. So Did now, they get water? Now they're... Water. Water and Ooh, soil. Water. That, that. Water. The liquid of life. Water and soil, you know, I know you think it's a big deal. Most of our listeners and viewers do, but, uh, yeah, plenty of water and soil. As a matter of fact, Tiger was generous enough to supply me with more soil. No we, more excuses. We exchanged it in the parking lot like a... like a. Uh, yeah, he was stealth. I turned around, and, and there he was, just standing behind me. Brian got his fix of ocean forest. Hey, uh, Dale was uh, saying that he'd like a hibiscus that would grow in Eureka, and... You know, most hibiscus, the hibiscus we normally talk about, Mm -hmm. the exotic hibiscus, uh, are uh, varieties of hibiscus rosa sinensis. Uh, Rosa sinensis is Latin for Chinese rose, by the way. Mm -hmm. But um, those are tropical plants. And And what about Eureka, though, the weather? Well, I was going to say they're not going to grow in areas that freeze. So in Eureka, you could grow them in a container and then just bring them in for the winter. Or you could grow hardy hibiscus, which uh, we used to grow even in Michigan. And those are deciduous. They'll die to the ground in the winter or 
uh, if it just gets cold, they'll just freeze back a little bit, and then they'll come back in the spring. And that's the hibiscus syriacus? Sir- no, syriacus is the... Because um, that's a deciduous hibiscus also. It right? is, but that's the Rose of Sharon. Oh, okay. Yeah, the uh, other hardy hibiscus are the, uh, what are they, like Disco Bell, mm. you know, the large flowers. I mean, you're looking at uh, 10 inches, 12 inches across. Uh, but they will grow all the way into cold temperatures. Uh, hibiscus machutus. Don't know that one. Yeah, we How don't about, grow them here because we can grow the Rosa sinensis. And what about, um, he, and if you want one, you can treat it like an annual, is that hibiscus maple sugar, right? Wasn't that maple sugar, the one with the red foliage? Yeah. But that, grow- but that dies, that'll die out every year up there for him. Right. Completely. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of reds do very well in containers they don't grow as big as some of the landscape hibiscus so you can uh, grow those in a container just bring them in for the winter uh we've mentioned before that a great site for hibiscus is exotic-hibiscus.com what about top tropicals in florida top tropicals is probably the best all-round site for tropical plants but for hibiscus uh they're in Fallbrook. I'd go to exotic-hibiscus.com. Okay. okay. I and mean, so many colors of hibiscus. Ch- well, Charles Black is a hibiscus breeder, and that's why I mentioned going to their website because you'll see things there you don't see. You don't even else. know it's a hibiscus, right? A lot of there's a lot of categories of plants that have just some amazing new hybrids come out. I shared one with you, the uh, daylily. Yes. That was in my yard today, and I really like mixing daylilies in with roses. Because are they good companion plants? Well, you know, so far they've been well behaved in my yard, no problems. No, no late night uh, chaos. No, no. For I mean, vol- there's for other plants. You put needed? them in your yard, and you, you you go out there and you go, you know, can't we just all get along? Exactly. Because, right. But you know, you've got uh, ground cover strawberry that just wants to take over everything. So. And I want you to to uh, after, after the break answer Rick's question on Facebook Live, John, if you would. And for the rest of you, uh, let's get those questions, comments uh, coming, going on Facebook Live or 855-424-9825. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com. This is our number two of the Garden America Show. Battling bugs inside and out? Then it's time to get more from Bayer Advanced and Lowe's Home Improvement Stores. Now you can buy Bayer Advanced Complete Brand Insect Killer for soil and turf and get a free bottle of Bayer Advanced Home Pest Plus Germ Killer, a $9 value. Complete works out on your lawn eliminating surface insects including mosquitoes in 24 hours and soil insects for up to three months while home pest plus germ killer handles the bugs inside your home lowe's and bayer advanced get more from the blue bottle always read and follow label instructions Hi, this is gardening expert Melinda Myers. Keeping the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite slow-release nitrogen fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to 10 weeks. The non-burning, non-leaching formula provides a slow and consistent flow of nutrients. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for over 90 years. Melorganite for better results. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. There's no question you need omega-3s. But which form should you take, fish oil or krill oil? Scientists have debated this for years. Luckily, there's a new solution to satisfy everyone. It's called Krill Omega 50 Plus. It combines ultra-pure fish oil and joint-soothing krill oil together in just one tiny pill. It's so powerful, it can promote the health of your heart and your arteries. And if that wasn't enough, it can also boost your joint comfort in just days. We're so sure Krill Omega 50 Plus will work for you. We'll even send you a free bottle to put to the test. The debate is over. It's not fish oil or krill oil. It's both. And now it's free. Just pay $4.95 for shipping and claim your free bottle. Call now. 800-834-4690. 800-834-4690. That's 800-834-4690. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer. And again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? 
Low Cost Airlines. With one call to Low Cost Airlines, you'll drastically slash your travel costs. We're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations. Where would you like to go? London, Rome, Costa Rica, Australia? Wow, that's cheap. So why wait? Call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the U.S. or international. Our prices are so low, we can't publish them. The only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airlines travel. It's that easy. So call now and start packing. 800-217-5107. 800-217-5107. 800-217-5107. That's 800-217-5107. Attention, are you moving soon and don't know who to turn to? If you are moving or planning to move long distance or across the country, Moving APT is offering up to a 20% discount for radio callers this month. Let us handle and remove all the pain and stress in a long distance move. Let Moving APT help you with your all-inclusive move, including packaging services, help with washers and dryers, mounted TVs, bed frames, and more. We can include packing and unpacking services or ask for boxes, tape, bubble wrap, or labels. We also disassemble and reassemble appliances and TVs at your new home. Moving is difficult and stressful, so call Moving APT today to find the most professional movers to support you. If you are looking for a low-cost quote to move long distance or across the country, call us now. Call 800-716-0362. 800-716-0362. Get a guaranteed quote with up to 20% off. 800-716-0362. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And, of course, so we are back right here 21 minutes after the hour. Garden America, Brian Main, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox. And, again, thank you for spending part of your weekend with us, watching us on Facebook Live, tuning in, streaming, And, of course, if you do get the newsletter, you can click the link to listen to our podcast or download the iHeartRadio app. And, again, these uh, these podcasts, by the way, we just uh, we pick one subject. We talk about it for about 20 minutes to a half hour. We get in depth, more detailed. And then if you have any questions, comments after you hear it, you can email john at gardenamerica.com or back on Facebook Live. A couple of questions there on Facebook Live that um, we could probably tackle right now. Nothing that looks too uh, complicated. (laughs) I maybe think, maybe I think for some, John. Some, some, maybe John. for John it's complicated. That's a loaded question. It man. is loaded, yes. But, John, which one do you want to answer? Well, Rick was asking, uh, what's the best garden that I've ever seen in the United States, uh, private or public? I have to think. I would say, off the, <clears> top of my pe- my, off the top of my head, probably Huntington Botanical Gardens. And wh- how does that compare to the other ones? Why, why that one? Well, first of all, they've got a terrific rose garden, which is not all gardens have, but they also have a budget uh, that exceeds all other botanical gardens. So, um, there's just everything there, right? Yeah, I mean, and then there's the museum. You know, I mean, there's the there's the art there. <laughs> you know, you can see Gainsborough's Blue Boy, and uh, really, oh yeah, you've never been to the Huntington? No. Oh, Brian. You mentioned Blue Boy. You got my interest. <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, they've got a, a great, the Huntington Library is fantastic. Um, probably, it's huge, too. It's just hmm. unbelievable. They've got a, probably the best cactus and succulent collection in California, if not the United States. Wow. And then a terrific palm collection, a bamboo collection. It's I, amazing. I, I should be there. Bamboo and palms. I you know what it. we should do is maybe organize a bus trip up there. We just, we can just, yeah, organize it and just drive our cars. Just well, we load could, but up. if we got load a bus, people up. if we got a bus, we could go with friends. No, that's true. Yeah, some people from uh, San Diego, surrounding areas, yeah. right? But I think that that's the best I've seen. Now, one on the West Coast <clears> that I have not seen, but I've heard people rave about, is Butchart Gardens in Victoria, in Canada. And we were just talking uh, at the 
during the break, actually. I don't think we mentioned it on air, but uh, our tour next year is we're going to take an Alaskan cruise. Did you hear that? An Alaska cruise. Which is going to start out in Victoria. Uh, we'll spend, uh, there'll be a pre-tour for three days where we spend three days in Victoria and we go to Butchart Gardens and then go to uh, a couple gardens in Alaska, too. Yeah, an Alaska cruise. Yeah. Thinking about it right now because you're talking almost exactly a year from right now, right? Just about. Yeah, we're still waiting to hear from the cruise lines, but uh, it'll probably be mid-July to so we early would, August. we would fly to Seattle and then from Seattle board the ship and then do the cruise up uh, to the fjords, through the fjords to Alaska, and then uh, leave from Alaska back to your hometown. That's right. We'll give um, more details as soon as we get them, but that should be fun. I, I know that my brother <clears throat> and uh, sister were both saying that they really wanted to they, go. They to. would. They would go then, Dave. Yeah. Okay. So they're. they're thinking I need they to reunite going. with Dave. <laughs> Absolutely. Love. That, love your family. That could be a lot of fun. So anyway, those are the best. Also, you know, just for my own interest, even though it's not a, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a spectacular, beautiful garden. The Fineschi Garden in Italy, the Rose mm -hmm. Garden, was one that I really liked. And then, the, you know, there were a lot of European gardens. So we saw the Rose Garden, uh, uh, Val du Mont, in, outside of Paris that I went to. I really enjoyed. But as far as all-round interest. And you like the Huntington. The Huntington is really they, they have a little bit of everything you've mentioned. Yeah. I think you would really like it. The Huntington is somewhere where you, if you go, you have to spend at minimum four to five hours. I was going to say at maybe maybe minimum. even a day. Just take a day. Make it a day trip. You know, the last time I was there, they had a copy of the Magna Carta. Really? That was on, on tour. Blue Boy and the Magna Carta? Yeah, and I think the Magna Carta was just on loan there for a while. What about Blue Boy? Is that the original or a copy? No, no, it's the original. It's the original. And it's there permanently. Wow. Yep, you'd like it. All this and an Alaska cruise next year. Yeah. How, how do we do it? Well, we don't have to wait till next year to go to the Huntington. That would that be a fun little day trip to take. I like that. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah. The... Uh, what was it the Garden Writers um, conve annual convention was? I'm trying to think. It was three years ago. Was um, in California, and one of the tours they did was to the Huntington. And Tom Carruth, who used to be the breeder for Weeks Roses, mm -hmm. is now the curator of the Rose Garden. And he's knowing that the Garden Writers were coming from all over the United States. I mean, he had his crew just doing everything they could to make sure that the garden looked spotless and it was in full bloom. And the day before the garden writers got there, the temperature went up to 103 degrees. <laughs> All the flowers so It was a crispy, a crispy tour. Yeah. Tom welcomed everybody saying, would you like to come out and see our rose potpourri? <laughs> <laughs> Everything was dry. To Nothing we it could do pathetic. about the weather. That's, no, right. that's a shame. And that was in October. Now, did you mention the garden we went to in, in a conversation just a few moments ago? Off Lake Bala in Italy, Lake Bala What was that? It looked it looked like the San Diego Zoo. Remember, it had the same kind of tropical plants. Oh yeah, it was the uh, Via Carlotta. Via Carlotta. Now, see, I really liked that place. Yeah, that was Villa Carlotta. That, that was that was a beautiful garden. And that other garden that's on uh, on the other side of the lake in Bellagio mm -hmm. um, was really nice too. But they were able to grow a lot of things that you would see along the same line of. Uh, the latitude here in San Diego, because of the way the wind and the weather interacts with the lake, for some reason, the weather conditions and the climate are conducive to grow plants that you could not normally grow. You know, I was talking to my wife about, uh, I don't know wh why I do this, but on my phone under weather, you know, if you have an iPhone, you can right. look at the weather and you can have different cities. And I always keep Bellagio on there. I've got yeah, I've got it up there, too, as well. And have you looked, did you look at it in May? I had 10 days in a row of thunderstorms. Wow. And um, it just seems like May is really a rainy month up by Lake Como. We were very fortunate. We had pretty good weather. And we had, it was supposed to rain every day we were there, but we had enough breaks yeah. in the rain so that it was nice. And when we went to Switzerland, it was really nice. It was a Speaking great Speaking of gardens, you, in Switzerland, was it in Switzerland or Monaco? I think it was Monaco. Monaco. Which one are you talking about? The Octopus's Garden. The Octopus's Garden. By the, the sea. And the Yellow, <laughs> yellow Submarine. And the Yellow Submarine were both there. Yep. And that was, uh, that was a fun, fun trip. Next year, Alaska, the big Alaska cruise.
It is 29 minutes after the hour. John at GardenAmerica.com. By the way, any emails, John? Anybody reaching out to you via email? I'll check while you and Tiger well, are chatting. Right. We, we have another question uh, sure. regarding um, Rick, and they had taken down a fence. Mm -hmm. And rather than putting a new fence up or planting a hedge, they're going to do containers. And he's looking for a good screening plant that will do well in containers and give them some height. So and I bet after the break we're going to talk about that. We will. Wow. How did we know that? Okay, just about 30 minutes after the hour, three ways to contact us, questions, comments, Facebook Live, also johngardenamerica.com, 855-424-9825 on this Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, depends on where you are. We are coming right back after this break. I'm Brian Main, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, and again, thank you so much for being part of our weekend here on Garden America. Want a better looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. Shop Lowe's and save big on updates you can make throughout your home. Refresh your walls with new color with stain-resistant paint that makes cleanup a snap, starting at $26.98. Craving new appliances? Get up to 40% off appliance special values on some of the best brands in the business. All projects have a starting point. Start with Lowe's. Appliance offer valid through 6-6. Exclusions apply. See store for details. U.S. only. Biz Talk Radio is now available on Amazon Echo. Just add the Biz Talk Radio skills. Then ask Alexa for the latest business news. You'll instantly get live, relevant information from the best business source. Biz Talk Radio. Alexa, open Biz Talk Market Tips. Attention all authors. Page Publishing is looking for authors. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Page Publishing will get your book into bookstores and for sale online at Amazon, Apple iTunes, and other outlets. They handle all aspects of the publishing process for you. Printing, cover art, Publicity, copyright, and editing. Call 800-557-6095 now for your free author submission kit. That's 800-557-6095 for your free author submission kit. Again, call 800-557-6095. <laughs> As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread, payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychecks simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychecks payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at trypaychecks.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now. 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. We paid less for our Craftmatic today than we did 20 years ago. If you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and free information on today's Craftmatic adjustable beds. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Rating number one by consumers nationwide on Consumer Affairs. Com. Craftmatic beds come in all mattress types, including cool gel memory foam for up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, poor circulation, nighttime heartburn, mild arthritis. You'll sleep better in a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So if you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and information. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Discover Craftmatic for less, up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Call 1-800-316-5271. That's 1-800-316-5271. 1-800-316-5271. Call now. 
If your credit card bills have gotten out of hand, call Consolidated Credit now. If you're making the minimum payments, but your balance is just not going down, call Consolidated Credit now. If the interest rates on your credit cards are so high, it will take years to get out of debt, call Consolidated Credit now. They've helped over 5 million people. They can consolidate your debts into one lower payment, reduce your interest rates, and get you out of debt fast. If you're struggling with credit card debt, call Consolidated Credit now. Call now, 800-350-3241. That's 800-350-3241. 800-350-3241. Consolidated Credit Counseling Services Incorporated, 5701 West Sunrise Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33313. Not a loan company licensed by the New York Department of Financial Services or by the Vermont Department of Financial Regulation. Maryland DM19, Oregon DM80031. Licensed by Virginia State Corporation, commission license number DC32. Establishment of a plan may adversely affect the individual's credit rating or credit scores. Non-payment of debt may be creditors to increase financial charges or collections activity, including litigation. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. <laughs> All righty, 35 minutes after the hour, back here with your garden buddies, Brian Maine, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco here, uh, Biz Talk Radio, John at GardenAmerica.com, Facebook Live, questions, comments. You can also talk to each other. What the f- not, huh? Talking about uh, maybe taking a couple of trips. We spoke briefly about 2019, the Alaska cruise, already somebody on Facebook inquiring. Uh, not May. May or June? Is it or it's Ju- not May or June. Is it July? July? It's July or August. Oh, I gave wrong information. You did. Already. Okay, well, that time of the year. Delete Unless you've that. got one planned that yeah. before we How go. How about if I say this? It's between January and December. Perfect. Of 2019. <laughs> well, that, that much is true. And but somewhere in the middle. It's definitely going to be July. July, for the Ala- July, August for the Alaska And cruise. we will know in about... Uh, Three weeks, maybe, we'll start posting specifics. As somebody who has taken an Alaska cruise before, you want to do this. This is this is unique, special, and something you may never see again. So try to plan that. Did you see uh, glaciers? We saw glaciers. We actually took a private plane, flew over the glaciers. We saw the glaciers fall into the water. Sounds like thunder. You just sit there and watch. It's amazing. And it's a, sort of a, what color would you call it? Kind white. of a, they're white. You no, know, but it comes across as kind of blue. There's a blue hue to it. Oh, really? To all the glaciers, yes. Fascinating. So, uh, yeah, put that on your calendar as far as a possibility for 2019, as John said, it's going to be July or August at uh, Garden America Alaska Cruise. Do you see uh, any eagles? Can, not only did we see eagles, and Tiger's got a point to get across here, we actually fe- uh, we, I fed an eagle. Really? I got, yep, right out of my hand, fed an eagle. Fed, you fed an eagle your hand? Right out of my hand. <laughs> he was very tame, docile, but yes, we saw eagles. Hmm. All right, so I want to answer Rick's question. Oh, sorry, Rick, yeah. about the fence thing. About the fence thing. Yes. Because this is a common thing that people want to do. And and he took down a fence. They're not, they do not want to put another fence up. They don't want to plant things in the ground. They're going to put things in pots, but they still want the screen. Well, first off, to start with, is that you need a substantial size pot. Um, you know, for any kind of screening plant, at least a 24 inch diameter, 24 inch deep container minimum for something that's going to get of some size. Because if you think about it, you know, the plant that grows in order for it to grow it needs to have roots. And if you don't provide enough roots, it's not going to grow very big. So, you know, that's the first thing. Um, varieties, Podocarpus macrophylla maci is a kind of a compact now variety. Rick is in Grants Pass, Oregon. And the Podocarpus do well there. So he's zone eight and nine. Will that not do well? I'm not sure. I'm just pointing it out. Well, we're talk, we'll talk global, and we'll, then we'll address Rick. Um, what about some types of bamboo? There's hardy bamboos that would do really well. There are a lot of bamboos, and they do really well. But I will note a disclaimer on that, is that they will eventually need to be replanted because what happens in the bamboo with bamboo is it binds the root system binds up eventually the new root can't come up and we're that with bamboo and then we're talking years 10 15 years yeah. later i mean but I'm that's the problem maybe a clumping bamboo like uh, alphonse car Al- yeah alphonse car but 
and, and people need to understand this too, that in this scenario, there is no lifetime solution. You know, people get hung up on it. They go, oh, I've had this for 10 years. I'm like, well, it's good enough. You know, it's, 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 you know, I mean, you people did think, well. yeah, exactly. Because people think, oh, you know, this, this, I've had this plant in this pot for 15 years. And why is it dying? Well, it's been in a pot for 15 years. That pot is full of roots. Enough there's, is enough. There's, you know, it's not going anywhere. It's, it, you know, and, you know, eventually, you know, you might either have to pull it out and put in a new one or transplant it or something, you know, with bamboo, you can pull them out and divide them. And, and put them right back. Put them in. right back in. You know, I was thinking up where Rick is, it's a perfect climate for all types of conifers too. Right. So conifers might be really good. Maybe some uh, arborvitae, uh, Leylandi cypress. Mm-hmm. They might be a little bit too big, but no. But there are compact varieties of the Leylandi cypress that are out now too, well, which should go. do well in pots. And well, that's, and if that's and if good. the pot is twenty four inches tall. In reality, for a six-foot fence, all you need is something that's going to get four to five feet, you know, and you've achieved your privacy hedge. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're looking for something taller than that, you change. But since the pot's already 24 inches tall, if you get a shrub that's four to five feet tall, you're you're good. You've gotten your screen. And, and, And you can buy those plants, and it's almost like instant gratification because there's a lot of conifers and plants out there that we're describing that are already that size for a 24 inch size container that are already four to five feet tall, two feet wide. So um, the biggest thing that I'm going to say though, is like we said, is that this is not a lifelong solution, 10, 15 years. Good. But plan on changing it at that point in time. I I kind of hate to say this, but uh, for me, 10, 15 years might be a lifelong solution. (laughs) (laughs) Well, there you go. So see, problem solved. That's right. Things have a way of taking care of themselves. Hey, Lenore uh, said that this is kind of absurd, but that she's visited Butch Art Gardens up in Victoria. But not to Huntington. But she's never been to Huntington, which is only a few miles from her home. Yeah, so. (laughs) So she said that uh, if we organize a tour, she'd love to join us. Okay, so there's one person for the two already. We'll have to we'll have to look more closely yeah, yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah, because I think that that would be a great time. And you talk about a garden, like you say, that is so well respected with so much variety. I mean, people come from all over the world, right, to see this garden. I mean, it's, oh it's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so and it's it's right in our backyard. And people will go there who aren't even interested in the garden just to visit the library mm-hmm. and the museum, the art museum. And Blue Boy. <laughs> well, he's Blue in the Boy. art I museum. See, I want to see Blue Boy. <laughs> You know, it's just a painting. It's not a real boy. Yeah, but he's blue and he's a boy. Come on. <laughs> oh, you, you mean this isn't Blue Man Group? The, oh, exactly. Man. This whole time. I have a story. I don't know if I can. It's story I, time. Go ahead. I was just wondering if I can say it on the radio, but I think I can. Um, <laughs> well, we, hey, we, we'll we alert the uh, our studio coordinator to get the dump button ready. Well, when my son and daughter were little, uh, maybe about... Uh, Maybe, let's say five years old okay. and four years old. Okay. So far, you're okay. Okay. We were we were moving out of where we were, and we were looking for another place to live. In the meantime, we stayed with some friends for about three months. And, uh, and your, lived, your whole family? Yeah. That was very nice of them. It was really nice. Uh, I think we overstayed our welcome. <laughs> but it was really nice of them. But anyway, the first day that we moved in, uh, I'm sitting in the living room or the family room, and uh, Joe, who was about five or six at the time, uh, comes running from down the hall and grabs his sister and says, brings her, you know, somewhere where I'm thinking, wow, he's. Mm-hmm. And then he, they both come back, and I'm looking at his face, and I know something's up. So. I said, Joe, what's going on? He said, Dad, you've got to come here and see this. So he takes me into the bathroom. Where's this Where's this going? And he points to the toilet bowl. And I go, and I'm looking, and I don't see anything unusual. And I, <laughs> and I say, so, you know, what's going on? He goes, they have blue pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> that's, okay, that's good. They have blue pee-pee. 
Mm-hmm. Well, that, you know what? Because they had used the tiny the ball tiny. thing, which we had never used, and he had never seen. Never before. seen this it. Is amazing. <laughs> Our kid's great. You know that, and like he had to get his sister to show her. Yeah. That's right. You, you got to see this. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. at this. <laughs> wow. You know what? That's a, that's great. I should have thought to use that as a joke. That's that was that's good. It was true. That's very funny. Now that was that was that true was fine. You're, you're good. That's that's good. Blue blue peepee is okay in the show. All right. <laughs> it is uh, 44 minutes after the hour. Again, Biz Talk Radio at 855-424-9825. John at GardenAmerica.com. Facebook Live uh, with questions and comments, and hopefully we've done a good job answering those so far this morning. We've got another 15 minutes or so those coming. Laura had asked what uh, catalog I was looking at during the show, <laughs> during our interview. You, I'll tell you what, you could almost see the name on camera. Yeah, and it was Logies, uh, which is L-O-G-E-E-S dot com. So if you go to Logies dot com, you can get a free copy of the catalog, and it's definitely definitely worth looking at. And they're also they also have a summer sale where you can save almost thirty percent on some plants. So I, I like it just for the information, and the, you'd like it, Brian, for the pictures. Love the pictures, and I love the Logies centerfold with that uh, that monthly plant they put in there. Ooh. It's a nice looking plant. Look at the petals. Nice petals. <laughs> Is that the centerfold you're looking at? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, got it. So, what else uh, along those lines? Just want to shout out to my uh, sister in law, Cheryl. Cheryl is uh, watching this morning. Who joined us? Yep. And, um,. And my cousin Gloria, if she's still on. Well, great. Well, hey, guess Gloria. what? We have one more segment to go, so there's plenty of time here. Any on more, Garden America. Any more relatives that want to yeah. call in? Yeah, do the or same. Uh, log you, on or welcome to. Join Facebook. You can email John at GardenAmerica.com. Facebook Live. And as I mentioned, one more segment to go with uh, myself, Brian Maine, John Magnesco, Tiger Palafox. Happy weekend. Happy Saturday. Garden America Show, our program coming right back. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready to spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Battling bugs inside and out? Then it's time to get more from Bayer Advanced and Lowe's Home Improvement Stores. Now you can buy Bayer Advanced Complete Brand Insect Killer for soil and turf and get a free bottle of Bayer Advanced Home Pest Plus Germ Killer, a $9 value. Complete works outside on your lawn, eliminating surface insects, including mosquitoes, in 24 hours and soil insects for up to three months. While Home Pest Plus Germ Killer handles the bugs inside your home. Lowe's and Bayer Advanced. Get more from the blue bottle. Always read and follow label instructions. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no. Wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to receive your free, no-obligation brochure from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-928-7007. That's 800-928-7007. Call 800-928-7007 today. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can today right now listen dealing with the irs is no picnic it's an intimidating and extremely stressful process and you don't want to go it alone our attorneys know every law every tax break and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt and if you owe more than twenty thousand dollars you may be at the top of their hit list so don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own the irs can seize your bank accounts your home and even 
even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. National Funding Group has just released $100 million in easy access small business funding to businesses that gross at least $100,000 a year. You can have fast access up to $500,000 in new business capital in as little as 48 hours. Think about the ways you could grow your business if you had up to a half a million dollar cash infusion. Call a NFG funding expert now. The process is easy. It only takes about five minutes. Then our management-owned lending team looks at your application for a fast approval. You can get 100% funded in about two days. If you need up to $500,000 in working capital to run your business and you gross at least $100,000 a year, call NFG and apply today. 800-296-1564. 800-296-1564. That's 800-296-1564. Got an old car? You can donate it, whether it's running or not, to the United Breast Cancer Foundation and save a life. They'll even come and pick it up for free. The United Breast Cancer Foundation has saved hundreds of women's lives through their free or low-cost breast screen exams. But now they need your help. The United Breast Cancer Foundation wants to save more lives through early detection by offering women free or low-cost breast screening exams. And donating your old car, SUV, or truck, whether it's running or not, helps pay for them. Plus, you get a charitable tax deduction. Help the United Breast Cancer Foundation save lives by donating your old car, SUV, or truck. Call now for free pickup. 800-245-0473. 800-245-0473. 800-245-0473. Call right now. That number again is 800-245-0473. Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825 or john at gardenamerica.com. I think john at gardenamerica.com has been a little quiet today. Yeah. You know, that's, that's fine because... You know, that just means we've been answering so many yes, people's Facebook questions. questions. That's good, though. No, everybody's questions. They just listen and they hear answers. What's good about Facebook is before we get to uh, answering the questions, the people who are logged on to Facebook watching the show can see the question before we even answer it. Look at that. How about that, huh? Wow. Well, we do have a question. Shall we answer it? On, I think this might be one for you to answer. I'm not sure. It's from Rochelle. And she says, uh, hi, John. Okay, this is a question for you about the radio audience. Okay. And I don't want to display my tech ignorance. It's okay. But she's going to right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are there podcasts of your weekly Facebook programs? I have listened to a number of the others that are audio, but I f I uh but I found any of the Facebook Live. I think she means I haven't found any of the Facebook Live. Great show today. Oh, no, that's not a Rochelle. silly question or a dumb question. No, the, the podcasts are separate from the show that we do here. Right. This is our radio show, our Facebook show. The podcast, as we've mentioned, we just pick one topic and talk about it for about a half hour. We get more detailed and we give more information than you might get on this radio show here. Because we do hopscotch around during this show. Right, but you can yeah. listen to all the shows on Facebook, right? That is oh, correct. Oh, yeah, absolutely, think, yes. But what I think that she might be a asking as well is what we would call a vlog. That, so like, like on, not a podcast. On, on YouTube. Yeah, not a podcast where it's just audio, but actually a video podcast um, ah, is yes. what she's looking for. Where yeah. I we, can't we, even say vlog. Yeah, <laughs> and, and the only thing I can say is that, Rochelle, with us, it's baby steps. <laughs> the fact that we've got the we'd, podcast going yeah. and then the Facebook Live and but we'd vlog, like to, we'd vlog like is the that. next step. Yeah. We've talked about it, and that way we can 
kind of have products and we can talk about them and we can do the podcast on, you know, houseplants and have them here and show people. The key is distribution. iHeart has agreed to distribute podcasts, which yes. is wonderful. Yeah, excellent. But they don't distribute vlogs right. currently. And we don't have an avenue to, to, to distribute. It would just be via our our own website. Which right, right, exactly. N- that you would go to and watch yeah, it. Yeah, and you people do we, those on YouTube. We could do them on YouTube as well, which we talked about creating. We, we have to start our YouTube own channel, page, which is the videos that we're talking about creating as well here, John. So baby steps. We're uh, yeah. we're in the works. So that's a great question. Yes. All right. Well, I just want to comment on the part where she says I don't want to display my tech ignorance. No, not at all. And just so you don't feel bad, Rochelle, I'm still learning how to log on to our shows <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah. No. It's uh, unless unless you do it all the time and you're used to it. No. It's, it's understandable. But, yeah, yeah we're, we're looking into the vlog, getting our own YouTube channel, so on and so forth. So there's going to be many avenues, many ways to hear, watch, and see uh, Garden America in the near future. Yeah. So that, that was good, Tiger, the way you explained that. And, and then Lenore points out that there's podcasts on Biz Talk Radio. Those are actually replays of uh, our entire show. Exactly. Th- those are, are, like John mentioned, these shows here that you're watching and listening to right now that are archived for your future listening pleasure. But just the audio. Just the audio. Not the visual. Now, we could we could do a podcast and Facebook it live. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. Then, then you'd see it live as it's happening. Then I would upload it, and then you'd have another way of listening to it again. But the hard thing about it is, like, even on Facebook Live, sometimes we get caught up on that. People can see what we're doing, and then we get distracted from not being able to convey that verbally. So right. people then that are just straight listening are like, oh, I don't really understand what they're talking so about. So maybe we should Facebook Live some of the podcasts. <laughs> I know. One more thing to worry about. I just found a new way to get dizzy. <laughs> one, more, one, one more way to drain Tiger's batteries. John, John's head just exploded. <laughs> That's exactly right. What uh, else do you have for us, Uncle John or Uncle Tiger? Um, so one of the things I was going to mention this week going into the first day of – or, you know, the, the second day of June. The, you know, it's the first part of the summer here for us all – is we were talking about invasive pest species earlier with Steve. And one of the things that I've noticed is because we didn't have, and Southern California specifically, have crazy low temperatures, the populations are really heavy for for pests. And um, aphids, mealybug, all that kind of fun stuff. I I don't mean to interrupt. I do mean to interrupt here. But I was just going to say, I've noticed this year more than... Any time in the last 30 years, I have grasshoppers everywhere. Yeah? Have you noticed that at all? Well, it's kind of like, yeah, I've seen that. And I've seen big problems with these bugs because the populations yeah. didn't die down over the winter. They kept through. And now the populations are double than what they were before. And grasshoppers specifically because usually they go away. And they eat a lot. And they eat a ton. Yeah. A matter of fact, oh, yeah. I took a picture. And the reason why I brought this up, I took a picture of um, some tomatoes They we were starting uh-huh. and they were just little plugs three days later i went out there gone just almost completely gone because of grasshoppers wow and it they just destroyed them so i started some new and but some of them like the bush 506 it's still hanging in there i think it's going to come back i'm interested to see what happens with that one. i left it just to see if it comes back i'm excited to see what happens with that tomato but Anyways, you know, back to kind of what I want to tell our, our listeners and our viewers is that make sure to stay on top of things right now. You know, we talked about using spinosad as a preventer. This is a great thing to do right now Maintenance. with bug problems is use spinosad as a preventer. If you see the earliest inclination of aphids or sucking insects, neem oils, insecticidal soaps, start using them weekly um, because you're going to save yourself down the road. Oh, man, I'm so disappointed that – I mean, I really – shouldn't have i couldn't have used spinosad on those young starts right away i wouldn't have done that anyways but just the fact that within two or three days they were being completely eaten was just so disappointing on my level so in other words stay on top of things don't wait until you see a problem yeah try to maintain it before the problem even starts you know at least here in southern california right now rose uh, slugs are really rampant so if you're not spraying to take care of the rose slugs and spinosa is a great product to use to take care of them your your leaves are going to be eaten up in nothing flat and it's interesting that i have uh 
Tootie's Rockin' K Rose. <laughs> wow. Tootie, Tootie's Rockin' Tootie's K Rockin Rose. K. Is the first rose in my yard that the rose slugs go after. So it's almost like an indicator rose. If, when I see that they're chewing on that, it's time to it's spray time to everything. Spray. The, the rest are going to be in trouble. Hey, that's going to do it for this edition of Garden America. We'll be recording our podcast up next, which you will not see, but you will be able to listen to later on this week when we uh, do post that or upload that. For the, uh, for the entire crew, I want to thank uh, our team at, uh, of course, the network, uh, BizTalk Radio, Zach, Jeremiah, uh, and the rest of the boys there. Uh, Brandon, thank you so much for what you do. John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, I'm Brian Main. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and remember to get growing America. Take care. 